You know what I don't care about? I don't care about Hollywood people giving each other awards, but what I do care about is watching people fail, because it's hilarious. That's right, friends. I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and we're going to take a good long laugh. And at least one comedian, one funny person showed up and made everybody laugh. Probably, well, probably, definitely Jim Gaffigan with the best joke of the night. But does it ring hollow or fall flat? Well, I don't know. Let's take a look at what's going on. First things first, let's talk about what the Golden Globes are. I don't know. I know it's like pre-Oscars, and I don't care about that either. I don't know who won. I don't really care who won. I assume that Barbie, which I saw in Oppenheimer, which I didn't want a lot of things, stuff and things, maybe TV's in there too. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is that uh, from the clips I saw that the host, this fella here, what's his name? Joe Coy, who I have never heard of before. Now, if I, if I remember correctly, Gerard Carmichael did it last year, and he wasn't funny. I mean, maybe he did it last year. Maybe he did the Oscars. I don't know. I like seeing bad comedians flounder. They claim that this dude sold out Madison Square Garden, and he claims he didn't have enough time to write them jerks. But now he's going around apologizing because he says, uh, it's not my fault I, I sucked. <laughs> like, bro, the only way you could go in there and make just make make it work is if you insult those people who are sitting there who are all millionaires giving each other awards for pretending to do things. That's the only way that that works. Uh, take, a, take a word from Ricky Gervais as he destroyed everybody. <laughs> and was prophetic because when they said that there was going to be people be on that plane going to Little St. James, they weren't kidding when they mentioned Leonardo DiCaprio, amongst others. Uh, but let's, he's been, <laughs> everybody said that he's woefully unqualified to be an award show host. First of all, no one's qualified to be an award show host. No one cares. There's no point. The only reason why Ricky Gervais was any good was because. He was insulting everybody and just destroying them, which was, that was funny. I don't know about being the host, how that's funny. He said, we had 10 days to write this monologue. The biggest thing is he went on to rip all of the people who wrote them. And we'll play, we'll play a clip to show you how bad this dude bombed. He did tell a joke. And of course, first of all, why is Taylor Swift there? I don't think she acts unless she wrote us. Who cares? Why is this chick? showing up to everything didn't she just kill a bunch of people down in brazil and then eat them allegedly i mean we at least know she killed some people at her concerts look it up i'm not just making things up allegedly (laughs) so i'll read this joke and then i'll play another one for you but it's as you know we came on after a football double header the big difference between the golden globes and the nfl the Golden Globes have fewer shots of Taylor Swift, I swear. <laughs> and of course, Taylor is unamused. Why Why would she care? Why She's like, why are you talking about me? Keep my name out your mouth. And then to go after Taylor Swift, well, that's real, that's real challenging there, man. You're really challenging the audience, you know. So let's listen to this, this goofball, this clown, as he makes fun of Barbie, I guess. The key moment in Barbie is when she goes from perfect beauty to bad breath, cellulite, and flat feet. Ah, or what casting directors call character actor. <laughs> that's, that's what a lead balloon sounds like in a room as it goes off and doesn't... No, not funny. And listen to this. He's some laughing. I wrote, some other people wrote. Robert De Niro's here! He's laughing because some he wrote and some he didn't wrote. And then he says something along the lines of this. Slow down. I wrote some of these and they're the ones you're laughing at. Look. No, that's not, nope. That's not what happened, man. It's not what happened. I mean, I didn't watch it, so I don't know. I can only tell you from the clips. 
But uh, yeah, those aren't jokes. Those aren't even things. I don't know what they are, but they're not funny. But let's check out the hero of the night. Again, though, did he take... See, this is what's weird. And this is from the New York Post. Does it fall flat because he didn't go far enough? Or does it fall flat because is the Golden Globes? Or is it because the documents on Jeffrey Epstein? I mean, Michael Jackson's dead, so he's not taking any more planes to little St. James Island. So, I don't know. Let, let's listen to what he has to say, and then we'll, we'll make a decision. I can't even believe I'm in the entertainment industry. I can't. I, you know, it's so unlikely. I'm from a small town in Indiana. I'm not a pedophile. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I think that's pretty funny. You know. Oh, that didn't get a I lot just, of applause. I don't know if... Some people laughed, but I mean, I get, I mean, that is it a ri risky joke after Ricky Gervais already like killed everybody else on this? You know what I mean? They say it fell, it fell flat, but I don't, I don't know. Like, why is it a flat joke? I think it's kind of, I let, made me laugh. Cause then they go into all this other stuff about how dark it is. Maybe, is it too soon? Is it too soon? I mean, the, the, I get, think the bigger crime is that 170 people with links to him were all named, but we didn't get anybody of any real substance, right? Still waiting for uh, people who were trafficked to exactly who? Who were they? I don't, I don't, did they get Leonardo DiCaprio's reaction? I know he's still hunting trophies. And trophy wives, get it? Not even wives, trophy girlfriends. Because they like some young, allegedly. Not that young, just sub-25 young. <laughs> anyway, d I'm assuming I would ask for your reactions. Like, what did you think of the Golden Globes? But I know you better, and I know you didn't watch them just like I didn't. Um, do you still have any interest whatsoever in any award show at all? I'm curious. I have zero but I do like the, the this fodder, this this aftermath, this kind of like picking up the pieces of a failed show that no one watches and no one cares about. They tried to rebrand it, and the ratings are just terrible, and they keep getting worse, and essentially it's the industry just watches itself. So let me know what you guys think. Did you think that that joke fell, fell flat? I thought Jim Gaffigan was pretty funny there. So let me know what you, uh, well, we'll talk about it. Leave it in the comments. We'll talk about it. In the meantime, be sure to check out our podcast. We do live stream it right here on YouTube, the great and powerful of YouTubes. Uh, that's 7.30 p.m. Friday nights. And come join us. It's a lot of fun. You can also catch the same podcast for free to you on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, all those great places. And more, you can join us. Get your degree in orcology. I promise it's better than a worthless gender studies degree. And in the meantime, uh, think about it. But I'm on to the next one. <laughs>